What is up team? Welcome back to The Work Method and welcome to day 18 of the Thrive Program. We have an upper body pull workout in the books for today. Let's hop into a short three minute AMRAP and then we'll get into our first exercise. We're gonna set three minutes on the clock and we're gonna cycle through these three exercises for as many rounds as you can. We're gonna start off with five handcuffs. So you're gonna lay on your belly, either on the bench or on the floor, hands behind your back like you're getting a handcuff. You're gonna come all the way out and around and bring the palms together at the top and then back around for five reps. We're doing this lying down on our belly. Then from there, we're going into 10 scap push-ups. So you're gonna be on your hands in the push-up position and you're gonna think about letting your shoulder blades squeeze together and then press apart for 10 reps. Elbows stay locked out. The only thing you're moving at is your shoulder blades. From there, you go down on your belly all the way and we're doing 10 overhead reaches. Squeezing those shoulder blades down and together like you're doing a lat pull down, reaching overhead for 10 reps, team. Three minutes on the clock. Let's do it. It's five, 10, 10. Five handcuffs. 10 scat push ups. I'm doing my handcuffs on a bench. I'm gonna lie flat, hands behind your back. Three, one, work. It's just a warm up. So go nice and slow. Oh, five reps. Then we do 10 scat push ups. Please. Overhead reaches. Then we're back to handcuffs. Cycle through, nice and slow. We got somebody hopping in. Warmed up for this pull day. <laughs> One minute left, team. Five handcuffs, 10 scat push ups, 10 overhead reaches prone. Take your time, nice and slow. Twenty seconds, team. We got some one arm dumbbell rows. So you're gonna need something to post up on with one hand. You can use the end of a bench, you can use your couch, whatever you got available. You can use your knee even. So if you use your knee, you're gonna put left hand on the knee, you're gonna lean over. If you're using the bench, I'm gonna set up with my feet wide like a straddle stance, put my left hand on the bench. My right foot can be back slightly, and I'm gonna think about pulling that dumbbell into my hip and getting a deep stretch 
at the bottom. So, we're gonna do 30 seconds in the right arm. You're gonna do a 20 second rest, or 15 second rest, I'm sorry. And then 30 seconds in the left arm, and then we're gonna have a 45 second rest, and we're gonna do this for four sets. So here, palm is facing in, elbow stays tight to your side, pull up nice and close to the body, big stretch at the bottom, drive up. Elbow tight, think about the weight is on the back of the arm, driving back. Now because we're only doing a 30 second interval, that means you can go heavy. We're probably getting about 10 to 12 reps in, maybe, depending on how quick you're going. I'm gonna start with a 60 pound dumbbell and then work my way up or down, depending on how I feel. I know I hit 60 two weeks ago, so I'm building upon that. We are going in three, two, and work. Right arm, team. Oh, we got someone else hopping in. 60. Big pull. Drive towards that hip. Two, one, and rest, team. 30 seconds on that right arm. Rows. 15 seconds rest, now we're going to the other arm. In three, two, and work. Grab that hand back towards your hip. Big stretch, pull. Elbow stays tight to your side. Feel that back work. The more perpendicular to the floor you can get, the better. Or parallel to the floor, I'm sorry. Five, three, one, and rest, team. 45 seconds rest. We got three more sets of that. 30 seconds each set. Move it up, shake those arms out, walk it off. If you guys grip starts to go, you can always use straps here. I'm gonna stick with 60s for another set. I might move up to 70s on the final two set. I'm gonna see how I feel. Remember, we're trying to build off of week two this week. So whatever you did in week two, you should at least be doing that weight. Maybe bumping up a little bit. You can track all of this in the Train Heroic app. We have one more week of this week's workout in week six. So every week, every other week builds. We're back to the right arm rows, two. And it work. Squeeze, drive, low. Big stretch at the bottom. Let that arm fully extend. Left arm coming up, same thing. In three, two, and work. Left arm, same 30 seconds. Pull, squeeze. Four, two, one, rest. I'm gonna go one more set of 60. That final set, I'm gonna try to go 70. It's getting challenging. I wanna be able to get good quality reps. I don't wanna try to use too much momentum here. So if you guys are twisting the body at all, or using a lot of leg momentum, we don't want that. Twenty seconds. Our main focus is to feel it in our lat here and across the upper back. You're gonna get a little bicep action as well. But think about the weight is behind your elbow and you're driving back, squeezing that shoulder blade together. Seven seconds. Right arm again. Two, one, and work. Drive.
Pull them back towards your hips. Seven. Four. Two. One. Rest. 15 seconds. Left arm. Get ready in three, two, and it works. team our final set I'm gonna go 70 challenge yourself if you can it's the only way you get stronger the only way you improve if you're not challenging yourself you're not changing but with good quality reps of course <laughs> shake out those arms 15 seconds Final set here, team. Let's get it. Right arm for 30. In five, three, one, work. Seconds, team. Two. And rest. We got a minute 30 on the clock. We're going into some rear delt rows coming up. All right, team. So you can put that weight back. You are going to need a lighter weight. This is a little bit more challenging, a little less efficient, or uh, you're not going to be as strong in this movement. So we're going bent over, same positioning, except we're not gonna use the bench. We're gonna use two dumbbells at one time. We're gonna bend over at the hips. Our palms are gonna face us. And we're gonna think about rotating the hands up to this position. So you're basically thinking about putting your thumbs in your ears and squeezing those shoulder blades back in together. So our starting position is here and they rotate up and squeeze. It's our rear delt row. So you're really trying to feel it in the back of the shoulders, which is your delt all across the upper back. You're gonna have to go lighter here. I maybe go 25s. I'm gonna demo with some 15s though. So I'm here, rotate up, squeeze, nice and slow down. Really focus on pinching those shoulder blades back and together and getting those dumbbells near your ears. 30 seconds each set, 45 seconds of rest between each set. Any questions? We good? 10 seconds of rest team, let's get it. I'm going 25 pounders here. See how I do. And try to control that descent. And work, bend over, head neutral, drive up, slow down. Six, 
three, one, and rest. 45 seconds. Whew. Recover, ask yourself how that weight felt, and adjust. 25s were heavy. I might not be able to hang in for all those. Um, all those sets, we'll see. It's a little bit more of an isolation movement team, so we may need to drop in weight as we go. We'll see. 10 seconds, team. In five. Three, two, one, and work. Three, two, one. Rest, team. Woo. All right, guys. Two more sets. I'm sticking with 25. Feel those rear delts, upper back. That's our main focus. You're also working that low back and core a little bit too because you're holding an isometric. So this is a good opportunity to try to brace your core. And you're just held over position. We're working on that stability of the low back. Try not to swing. In three, two, one. And work. Abs tight. Down. Drive, squeeze. Seven. Two. One. Rest. One more set. Hang in there with me. Woo. Take it out. Stretch out the neck a little bit. You're trying not to do this when you do it. Trying to keep the shoulders down and back. Good posture. <laughs> 15 seconds. 10. In five. Come on. Let's get ready to work. Three. One. There you go. seconds. Two, one, and rest team. We got a minute and a half. All right. Final straight set. We're going to do some shrugs. We're going to mix it up a little bit from what we did before. We were doing some leaning shrugs like so. We're still going to do the leaning variation, but if you have a bench, we're gonna do it on the bench. You're gonna put the bench almost all the way up. So you have a little bit of a lean here. You're gonna lean your chest against it. We're gonna take two dumbbells. And you can actually get, maybe, don't be almost straight up, we're about here. We're gonna think about driving those shoulders towards your ceiling with a one-two pause. So this takes a little bit of the stress off the low back but it still targets that movement range we're looking for with that shrug. So, maybe adjust the weight a little bit if you need to. I'm gonna try to go 40s here and squeeze. If you guys don't have a bench that goes on an incline, you can just lean over a little bit and do them here. Or if that doesn't feel comfortable, you can do them standing up straight. We're trying to work the upper back and traps here. 
two dumbbells. Leaned in, 30 seconds each set. 45 seconds of rest between each set for four sets. Same deal, guys. Any questions? Are we good? Let's do it. We're going in five, three, one, and work. Lean in, shrug, pause. Big stretch at the bottom. Think about kind of going up and back behind your ears and not to your ear. That's the purpose of the incline. And keep your head neutral. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo! I'm gonna go a little heavier. I wanna try to go 45. Really feeling it in the traps though. So what I mean by going behind the ears is as I've leaned over, we're trying to go up in this direction and not towards your ears. So we're not trying to go here, we're trying to go here. Up and back versus up towards the ears. 15 seconds, team. Let's get it. Eight. Three, two, one. And work. down to 40. I was getting kind of weak contractions. It was burning like hell in my tracks, but I didn't get as good of a contraction. So you can always go up and down, guys. No egos here. Rather have you do good reps than more reps or more weight. I'm gonna stick with 40s for the next set. See how that feels. All of it should be focused up here, though. Any pain in the neck, drop weight. We're not looking for that. Any pinching, drop weight. 12 seconds, team. Get ready. Five, three, one, and work. seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. I'm going to 35s on the last set. I want to get good squeezes and good pauses. My traps are getting toasted. Woo! You guys feeling that? Yeah? Good. Twenty-five seconds, final set. Let me go into a little bit of a circuit after this. Fifteen. Start setting up. We're going in five, three, two, work, squeeze. Bumping up 10 sets per interval over week two. So we're going from 45 seconds per exercise to 55 seconds per exercise. 
25 seconds of rest between the exercises and 45 seconds of rest between the rounds, but we're still only doing, we're only doing three rounds on this one. So our first movement is a dumbbell hammer curl, standing, both at the same time. Now, forewarning, because this is a longer interval, 55 seconds, you're not gonna be able to go as heavy as you normally would, and you're certainly not gonna go as heavy as we did with a 30 second interval. So, I'm gonna go maybe 20s or 25s. I want you to start out with your elbow locked out, squeezing your tricep. That makes sure we have a full extension of the bicep. Curl up, keep that elbow at your side, nice and slow down, squeeze. Every rep, you gotta squeeze the tricep, and then squeeze the bicep, tricep. Bicep, palms stay facing each other for a hammer curl, coming up towards your shoulder, nice and slow down. I'm gonna go 20s on the first set and see how it feels. Then, second movement, we're doing a dumbbell reverse fly. You can do this on an incline bench, or you can do this standing. Low back might be a bit fatigued at this point, so you, I think an incline bench is ideal, and that's what I'm gonna do it on. And I'm gonna set about a 30 degree incline, I'm gonna take two light dumbbells, Light bend in my elbows. Elbows stay pointed towards the ceiling, and I'm gonna squeeze the shoulder blades back in together. Again, longer interval. Go light here, guys. This is an isolation exercise. I'm gonna straddle the bench, palms facing each other, squeeze together, nice and slow back down. I actually probably can go one notch lower on this bench. The more per uh, parallel to the floor I can get, the more I'm gonna put stress on my back and rear delts. That's movement number two. Movement number three is a drag curl. So now you're gonna take two dumbbells, you're gonna face your palms forward and you're gonna drag them up the side of your body, letting the elbow tuck back. You'll probably need a lighter weight for this. Here and back and you're trying to pinch, basically. Back, nice and slow down, 55 seconds. I'm probably gonna go 15s on that. Those are our three movements team. Two are killing the biceps, so you're probably gonna have to even go lighter than normal, longer intervals, and then one is rear delts and upper back. We good team? Any questions? 15 seconds, we got hammer curls. Don't be afraid to drop weight on these, it's okay. We, try to, we wanna wo focus on the muscle we're trying to work, which is the bicep. Five seconds team. Take them up, three, two, one, and work. Squeeze. Slow down, flex the tricep, squeeze. Try to brace your abs, squeeze your butt. Keep a solid body to curl off of. Come on, squeeze, 12 seconds. Seven, three, two, one, and rest. 25 seconds rest team, we got the reverse flies. If you don't wanna do these on a bench, you're just gonna do them bent over, standing, same concept. I'm going on a bench though, 15 pounds. Try to control the descent back to the middle. So you're going squeeze, control. If you can, two, one, and work. Slow back. Come on, five, three, two, one, press. 25 seconds, team. You should really feel that in the back of your shoulders and all across your back. 
We're going drag curl. Palms forward. Let those elbows drive back. Keep that dumbbell close to the body. In seven. Two. One. And work. Slow on the way down. Drive up. Feel a really strong contraction in the bicep at the top. Let those, those, let those wrists relax a little bit. That's a little bit of a secret cue. Try to let the biceps take over more. So kind of let the wrists sag and just curl with the biceps. Woo! I'm only doing 15 pounds here. You don't need a lot of weight for this. 20 seconds. Two, one, rest. Woo, two more rounds, team. Adjust your weights if necessary. I'm sticking with 20s and 15s. Try to hang in there for another set. We got through the strength work. Now we're in that more metabolic pump work. So our goal is just higher reps, good squeeze, good contraction, get as much blood into the muscle as you can. Well, second scene, we got hammer curls coming back up. These double bicep moves are gonna kill us. That's what we're here for. Four, pick it up. Two, one, and work. Squeeze that tricep. Nice and slow down. Bicep work. Oh, Fifteen seconds, come on. Ten. Four, two, one, rest, reverse flies team, come on, walk it off though, 25 seconds. Ooh. Hurts so good, reverse flies in five, three, two, one. And work, palms facing each other, elbows towards the ceiling. You can put your feet up on the bench if it's more comfortable, or on the floor. Keep your head in neutral. seconds. Come on, 10. Two, one, rest. Woo! Drag curls, team. I'm sticking with 15s here. In eight. I let those elbows collapse backwards. One. I'm trying to create a triangle. A really close, acute triangle. Try to lock out that elbow at the bottom. Ooh. 
12 seconds, see him. Hang in there, four, two, one, rest. Woo, 45, team, one more round. Come on, then we got a little five minute burnout. We're in that home stretch, team, let's get it. Wednesday, hump day workout, let's go. seconds. Hammer curls coming up. That hammer curl should be feeling it all up the side of the bicep, kind of in the brachialis muscle. This feels the bicep a little thicker. Seven seconds. Let's go. A little bit of forearms too. One, and work. Nice and slow down. Posture team, nice tall chest, squeeze those triceps. Oh. I'm gassing a little bit. I'm gonna drop the 15s. Finish out the last 15 seconds. Five, two, one, and rest, team. Woo, reverse flies. I'm going with 15s again. See if I can hang in there. Walk it off, though. Try to get some of that lactic acid out of your arms by moving your legs. If you're sitting, it's harder to clear it. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. Let's work. Final set, reverse fly. Seconds, team. Eight. Two. One. Rest. Drag curls. Final set, team. I'm sticking with 15s here. Put these 20s back. I got no business. Working with those 20. Five seconds, pick them up. Good reps here, take short breaks if you need to. Focus on that squeeze. Let's go. Try to drive that elbow back. Three seconds, come on. Final circuit coming up. We have some core to finish us off. So we got a five minute AMRAP. 
MRAP stands for as many rounds as possible. So this is a go at your own pace portion of the workout. We're gonna do 10 lying leg raises. You can do this on a bench, flat or decline, or you can do this on the floor. If you're doing it on the floor, your hands are gonna go out your side, your legs are gonna come up and hips are gonna come up off the ground. You're gonna try to control them back down. So here, hands to your side, legs come up, hips come up, nice and slow back down. The leg straight is harder, knees bent is easier, like so. Now, you can do that on a flat bench as well, or a decline. The only difference is you're gonna grab overhead instead of put by your side. Decline is harder, flat is slightly easier. And we don't wanna let our heels go all the way down to the floor. That kind of gives us a little bit of a break. So you're gonna go here, grab overhead, squeeze up, nice and slow down, till about right here, and then drive back up. Most of the core work actually comes in those hips coming off of the pad. Anything with the leg straightening is mostly a lot of hip flexors. So the more we can drive that uh, belly button towards your sternum by rounding up, bringing those hips up, the more core work you're gonna get. So we're going 10 reps of whatever variation works for you. Then we're gonna go 10 side oblique raises on the right side and then 10 on the left. And we're just gonna cycle through that. So side oblique raises. On your elbow, right underneath your shoulder, hand on the hip, feet are stacked on top of each other, squeeze up, nice and slow down, let the hips touch. An easier variation is the top foot in front, squeeze up, nice and slow down. Even easier is knees bent, squeeze up. A little cue that helps feel it more in the core than in the back is to rotate the chest a little bit towards the floor and then squeeze. We wanna try to feel it down the side of the obliques here. So, five minutes on the clock. 10 leg raises, whatever variation works. 10 right side oblique raises, 10 left side oblique raises. We're gonna go at the 20 second mark team. Let's finish strong. Any questions? We good? Take your time here, focus on good contractions. And let's get it. 10 seconds team. In three, 10 of everything. Two, one, and work team. Leg raises. Feel that core. raises. Brakes are okay, team. Get right back into it. Bend your knees on these leg raises if you need an easier modification.
Two and a half, team, we're halfway through. Keep working, even if it's a little slower. Brakes are okay. Oh. Two minutes. I'm taking a short break before these leg raises. I need it. Minute 15, team. Oh. Come on, home stretch, 45 seconds. Let's go. Rotate in a little bit, on, rotate towards the floor, a little bit on those oblique raises. Two, one, and done, team. Woo! Awesome work, guys. Day 18 of the Thrive Program is in the books, team. We'll be back tomorrow with another full body workout for the week, and then finish off, off, finish off on Friday with a lower body workout. Hope to see you guys there. Have an awesome rest of your day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.